Hi, I'm Alan. This is Diesel Dreams. This is video number one. We're starting off on a Hummer, even though it's a diesel channel. We're going to get to diesel content later. I've got several trucks that I one I need to get an engine into. But this one we're going to start off with Core Seal. We're going to treat the frame and make it look like brand new. We've got a lot more videos coming on this. I've got a new custom bumper that I designed and my friend cut out for me and I've been welding together. So that video will be coming out shortly. And then we're going to, this one will be a two part series. We are going to paint the frame later. But right now this is Core Seal, uh, the treatment video. Just get it on there, coating it. I've already sanded down the frame and grinded off all the rust. I know this is shaky. I don't have a tripod. I'm going to purchase that later. And uh, hopefully the video content will get a lot better as we go on. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification. Okay, what we have here is a frame of my Hummer. And you can see that I have sanded it and grinded on it and I've done everything to clean it up. And I did the same thing to the other side. And I'm going to show you the results. And this is just the first coat. You can see that after just a few minutes, it's already starting to turn black. It turns purple as it's converting the rust. I'm going to go through and I'm going to put on three coats. And I'll come back with you and show you the results after I'm done with all three coats. But I think so far it's pretty amazing of what Cora Seal has done to this frame. It just, there was just pure rust 10, 15 minutes ago. And now it's already starting to turn it to black. Django. I'm out here today with my boy Django. Oh, he's feeling a little bit better. He hurt his knee yesterday morning before work. And uh, so he's walking with a little bit of a limp. Got him some doggy aspirin, so he's feeling a little bit better. He's able to actually walk on that leg some now. So we're back at the Hummer. <clears throat> we have, it's been about 24 hours. It's dried up really nice. You know, some people comment about it being a milky finish or anything like that. I don't see anything on my frame anywhere that looks milky. It's turned nice and black. Nice solid. I'm going to wait a couple days to let this harden up because it's really cool outside. It's like 50 degrees, even though it says that it can be 50 degrees when you apply it, that it'll still work 50 to 100 degrees as the temperature for Cora Seal. But I'm still going to give her a few days to harden up. And then I'm going to top coat it with some uh, paint, some, uh, oh, it's an Ace Hardware paint. That's a rust stop, nice flat black. And I think that we're going to end up, you know, with a really nice covering over this. This is so far, I'm really happy with the results. I mean, it's just turned out pretty amazing to me. You know, I still have to do the inside of the frame. I didn't do that yet. I've just done all the outside. My biggest recommendations is to make sure that you are wearing the worst clothes possible, your oldest pair of jeans, a long sleeve shirt, make sure you wear rubber gloves, maybe even a face mask. I mean, but you definitely want to wear eye protection. <clears throat> you want to make sure that you, like if every coat that you go over and you look at your arms any exposed skin, your face, and you want to make sure that you clean it up as soon as possible. This stuff is, it's not as strong as Pore 15 for what it'll do to you, but you can see on my hands, this is after hours of scrubbing that I still have it embedded in my fingers and fingernails. So it is pretty darn strong stuff. So yeah, you want to make sure that you keep yourself clean. Every coat that you put on when you got that few seconds of break between you put on your next your next coat, you want to make sure that you uh clean up, you know, and inspect your skin that you don't have any of this still sticking to you. 
because it's it's a pain in the butt to get off of you. It's a good coating. Seems really strong. I can't wait to you know, get some flat black on there and top coat it. But and, and another recommendation if you have the time to do it, pull out your shocks, you know, things like that. You can see where I got it on the plastic. I'll probably run some lacquer thinner over it to see if I can get that off of things like the shocks. And you'd want to use a one inch, a two inch, and a three inch for your for your paint brushes. And uh, if you're going to do it over two days, like I'm doing the inside and outside, you want to make sure that you have two sets of those, and you want to have plenty of rubber gloves so that any you know if you're going to do it over two days or like me i took the rubber gloves off so boom i'd throw on another pair of rubber gloves for the next coat but we'll walk around to the other side and you can see that it came out you know just as nice and this is three heavy coats this isn't you know just put it on real nice and light and I'd put something to cover your ground unless you're doing it like in gravel or something because this stuff's going to drip. I didn't listen to my own advice, so I have some nice splatter marks that I'm going to have to clean up out of my garage floor. You want to make sure that you keep it like in a garage or make sure that it's not going to rain because that's one of the things you read on it is they say like wait 30 minutes after a rain. You want to make sure that it's pretty dry. So that's why I've got it in the garage. So that way it'll harden up good. There won't be no moisture to make it milky or anything like that. You know, we should come out with a really nice finish on it. Come back here to the back of the Hummer. And you can see in here, not very much light, but you can see that it really coated everything good. You know, I really just slopped it on real good. Shoved it in every crevice with the, you know, the, use the one inch, you know, uh, paintbrush when it came time for getting into some of the smaller cracks and crevices. I coated everything I could. I'm going to pull that bumper off. That's going to be another video that I'm making is building this back bumper. Sorry that I don't have a tripod, so I can't do, you know, like action shots of me doing the work. But that's going to be my next investment right now because this is my first YouTube video so I don't have the equipment that I need so the hopefully the videos get better and hopefully everyone likes them and don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification